Christmas fast approaching, I thought it would be fun to do my wish list of perfumes for Santa. Please Santa, bring me only perfumes this Christmas of perfumes that I would love to own. I am very lucky in that I do have many perfumes already, um, probably maybe 60, I don't know. It seems to be increasing and increasing, but there are still some ones outstanding that I do not own that I really want. So I'm gonna take you through what will be on my wish list, and you guys let me know what's on your perfume wish list for Santa this year down below in the comments. And as always, I'll leave links to where you can buy these in the US, UK, Europe. If you're new here, then we're not normally um, all about Santa and Christmas and wish lists, and I'm not normally dressed like this. Uh, my pet channel's all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos, do check them all out. And if you're a regular who hasn't subscribed yet, then why not? <laughs> um, hit subscribe and make my day and join our little perfume community. Cool, so first on my list is kind of the sister, the partner of the Lancome Tresor Midnight Rose. So you might know that Midnight Rose is one of my favourite perfumes. Mm, it's a deep, dark, syrupy, cassisi rose. Um, very sexy, very nighttime. I tend to wear this if I'm going out to like a bar or something. You know, if I'm feeling very sort of edgy and womanly and like a deep Parisian romantic vibe. Um, but there is another one that looks just the same, but it's like a lighter colour. And it's a totally different smell, but it's a lovely smell. It's fruity and sweet. It has nectarine in, it has peach, it has pear, and then it has um, a rose, but it's not this kind of syrupy heavy rose. It's a fresh rose, but I love peach and nectarine in perfumes. It gives this really fruity vibe. And it's like, this is the sort of grumpy older sister and Trezor in Love is like the younger, happier sister. Um, it's got pear in as well, which I love in perfumes. So I would love to have the two of them on my dressing table, you know, side by side. And maybe I'd wear In Love for Day and um, Midnight Rose at night. I actually did a video comparing the two, um, but yeah, that's definitely on my wish list, Santa. I have quite a lot on my list, wish list from Valentino. So I really like the smell of the Valentina perfumes. These are the ones that come in this round bottle with flowers stuck on. I tend to see them less and less in department stores. I don't know whether they're being phased out. They obviously have their new Volce Viva fragrance, which is very different. And I guess Valentino as a brand is you know, famous for those studs. It's quite aggressive. It's not sort of pretty and feminine in the way that the Valentina fragrances are. So I'm worried that they're gonna phase them out. But that original Valentina is a pretty white floral with strawberry and truffle in. It has a um, beautiful African orange flower, which I really like. And it's kind of sweet, but warm. And it's just my kind of smell. And then they also do like an absolute version. I think it's called Asaluto, and it's a darker colour bottle, and I like that one even more. So in this one, they've got peach in, and the truffle is much stronger. They've got vanilla in, so it's a bit deeper, sexier, but you've still got those white florals, and I just really like these, and I just haven't found an excuse to buy them yet. They still tend to be quite expensive, even though they're like quite old now. Um, usually perfumes that have been out for like 10 years like these tend to get really reduced and then I'll buy them, but these haven't, so I'm waiting for that. And I also really want the pink limited edition one they did. It was like this hot, bright pink. This was like fruity, sweet rose. You had strawberry and rose. It was kind of like a sweeter, younger version of Mon Paris. No rose, peony, strawberry, um, had a bit of praline in. It was just super fun. And I think the bottle, I love that hot pink bottle. I actually think while we're talking about Valentino, that they're born in Roma, um, that's kind of from the Donna range that came out in the summer. I really like it because it has a lot of black currant in. I love black currant in perfumes. Then vanilla, jasmine, so it's quite a typical feminine smell, like, of the day. Vanilla, jasmine in so many perfumes at the moment, but the black currant makes it a little bit different, adds that fruity, syrupy vibe, which I like. Um, and I quite like the bottles, and it's definitely my favourite from the Donna range. But I probably want Valentina more than I want this 
because I feel like Valentina is going to be discontinued. So there are some from Erin, which I really want. So I think they're launching or have launched a new one called Fleur de Peony. I haven't been able to see it yet in any department stores, but you guys know I love Peony, so I really want to try this. I see it has lychee in and pomelo, both of which are notes that I really like. So can't wait to try this. And then their hibiscus palm is the one I always reach for when I walk by an air encounter to spray on me. It just smells like exotic holidays. I've spent quite a lot of time in Central America, like Costa Rica, Panama, and the smell of the rainforests there is just amazing and it really reminds me of that i've done quite a few boat trips like out in the rainforest with the mangroves and everything and hibiscus palm really reminds me of that smell um but again the prices on erin are so expensive it's like i think it's 120 pounds and i just can't justify it when i have so many perfumes so another one that's quite expensive um is misty or blooming bouquet so you guys know I have Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming. It's one of my all-time favorites. I have the old Miss Dior Cherie de Toilette, but what I would really like is the Blooming Bouquet to add to my collection. It's just got all that peony in and I love my peony. And then Apricot and Peach, again, I love. You see, you're, you're noticing a pattern here, like rosy, peony, fruity but like berry fruity or peachy fruity it's that type of vibe it's a really nice smell it's just i wish it wasn't no to twilight i wish it was much stronger um because it doesn't last that long and given how expensive it is that's why i've not bought it because it really isn't good value for money even though it smells amazing and then there are two from Aqua de Palma, which I was very close to buying in the summer because I have noticed these have started to be reduced on some websites. Their Blue Med range I love. Um, when I worked selling perfume, I used to recommend this so much in the summer. To men and women, it's unisex. Um, their Arancia de Capri is a beautiful warm orange. Um, the idea behind the Blue Med range is they smell like the sort of fruit or item that particular area in Italy is famous for. So this one Capri, oranges, Arantia means orange. You've got a Sicilian mandarin and orange in there and it's just really orangey but it's like a warm orange, like a Gucci Flora orange. It's not like a sharp orange, so nice. Um, but again, with it being an eau de toilette, it's the kind of thing that you want to keep spraying, kind of like a cologne. Um, so that's why I haven't bought it because it's not going to last that well. And the same with the lemon one, Bergamotto di Calabria. This is like a sweet, slightly sweet, like a sherbet lemon smell. Um, Bergamotto it has some ginger in, it's quite sharp, really refreshing for when it's hot and humid. Really love it um, and love the body products as well that go with it. But again, I just can't, haven't been able to justify buying it. So one that I used to have and I gave away and now regret giving it away is Givenchy Irresistible Givenchy, the new one that just came out. Um, I love this. I actually just sprayed this sample on me and I can smell it everywhere. It's a beautiful, beautiful, sparkling smell, sparkling rose. I love my Givenchy's. Um, you might remember I used to have their Angie Demon elixir i had a few years ago you have to be around for a long time to remember that and it reminds me of that but just fresher um so i do wish i could get this back and not just have this little sample another one on my wish list is um the absolute version of versace bright crystal so i really like this fresh fresh peony super fresh but the absolute version it's similar bottle but just darker pink and basically it's just gonna last longer it's got raspberry in i think i do prefer it and when i bought this i thought i should buy the absolute one instead and then i thought no sophie it's unnecessary but yeah i wish i had got it instead even though i really love this it's like an even better improved version of it and it was only maybe like less than 10 pounds more to get the absolute version but you're getting that extra lasting power so yes I wish I'd got that. And then lastly, thinking about Lancome, I'd like to have more of their Trésor range. I have the original like, like Trésor Le Nuit, the praline one that comes in the diamond shape, but the Af 
Bolly one that they have. Has a lot of Tonka bean in, which I really like. Would be nice for the winter time now. And then they brought out the nude version, the Nuit Trezor nude, which was a beautiful cashmere scent. I think that would be quite nice as well. And the bottles are so beautiful as well on the dressing table. I think also I'd quite like to have more body products. Like if I was a multi-millionaire I would definitely have all the Misty Dior products like the shower gel the body lotion the body cream all of that so like I get up in the morning and I'm just using all these Misty Dior products and I just smell totally of Misty Dior I love that and the Jimmy Choo hand cream is really nice as well obviously much more affordable than Misty Dior and um, but I'd, yeah I'd like to get it's not hand cream sorry it's a body it's just a body lotion but I used to use it as a hand cream um so yeah I'd like to get more of them because it's just luxurious isn't it so yeah so guys let me know what's on your wish list let's see if santa brings me any of these <laughs> we shall see um but that's it so thanks so much for watching as always and i will see you in the next video bye